All right, something a little different now. This is the... I was going to say trailer, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. This is the demo for Stronghold, the definitive edition. Set to come out this November 7th of 2023. Now, uh, Stronghold is very much the game of my childhood. And I have very, very, very fond memories of it. Growing up as a wee lad, playing it almost every chance I could. And my mom hated that I was always at the computer. And she'd send me outside and it was terrible, because it's like, you outside, no. Like, who does that? It's sick. You're sick in the head, Mom. I can't believe this. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I played this game so much as a kid. It, I, I can't even put into words what this game means to me and the fact that we're getting, that I'm getting a definitive edition like 20 plus years later. It's amazing. And I'm going to do basically uh, the tutorial. Uh, the first couple of missions, we're gonna skip all this, so you don't have voiceover in the background, I'm sorry, original voice actors, you're amazing. But, uh, the first, in the original Stronghold, released in 2001, I wanna say, the original Stronghold has a military campaign, which is basically what you wanna play to actually learn the game. It's got all the important economic strategy, combat, all that type of stuff that you learn going through it. And the first handful of missions aren't anything uh, too exciting, it's just learning how to build your castle, learning how to make your economy work, learning how to make your... Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Learning how to make your food stable. If that makes sense, I'll get into it more once I actually launch it, but yeah, this is, I want to say, the second, second, the fourth chapter is really when they take the training wheels off and you start applying all the knowledge you learned in the previous three chapters, so it's appropriate that this is the part of the demo that they include. So let's go ahead and get started. This, this beautiful, this beautiful mess. Look at it, I love it. The graphics are amazing, I love it. It, it looks so much like the uh, original Stronghold, but very modernized. And if I don't put my granary down immediately, I'm gonna start to lose popularity. I'm gonna go over this real quick. Okay, never mind. I gotta put down the granary first. All right, I'm gonna kind of speed through some of this stuff and then I'll get to talking about what's important some woodcutters out here. How many is that? Two, four, six. That's good enough. Let's get a uh, couple of these down. More stockpiles. Let's build a hovel way out here so it's out in the middle of nowhere. Commute to work is gonna suck, but you know, she doesn't work, so it's fine. Already got a tree falling down. Alright, now... The people hold you in great We're gonna... Esteem, actually, man. let me back out. This right here is our esteemed advisor. He looks a little different than he did 20 years ago. He's gotten younger, which is remarkable. He's doing a Benjamin Button very slowly, but, you know, he's great. We're gonna click on his little booklet here, and this is our list of reports. We can check out the army stats. We can go to stores, see what's in our stockpile. Weapons, what we've got in the armory that I have not built yet. Religion, you don't have to worry about that right now. Food, shows you what you got there. Uh, and you, you can turn off food consumption in this menu as well. So we're gonna turn that back on because, let me get to the really important thing here. This is our popularity tab. You get one... No, you don't actually. We're getting plus one popularity from the fact that we are no not taxing our civilians. Lord. And how we tax the civilians is we click on the no keep here, that will open up the Lord. wooden keep, that'll show us what we're making, what our population is. If we really want to be evil, we'll 
move that over here. So we got 70 population. We're going to charge some extortionate taxes for negative 12 popularity. So our popularity right here, the 71 just dipped down to 68% popularity. We're not very beloved at the moment. We've got a negative 12 popularity at the moment. Let me pause this, actually, because I can still access menus from the game's pause, and I don't want to be ill-prepared. Because it, it, the, the game isn't super hard or anything, but it does pick up, and I don't want to be caught with my pants down. And, yeah. So let's get back to the popularity tab. We'll get... Traditionally, I want to say you get plus one if you have two different food types, and then you get another plus one for every unique food type you introduce. Right now, we only have one food type, so we don't get any bonuses. If we were to, like, if we were to start making cheese, and then we added cheese to the granary, then we get a plus one. If we were then to add bread to the granary, we'd get a plus two. If we had all four of these, we'd get a plus three, which is great. Uh, tax, I already went over that. You can... I'll pause real quick. You can raise taxes to a ridiculous amount, so you can start paying your citizens to come back to the castle after you've scared them all away. We're gonna leave it at no taxes for now. We're gonna pause this again. Look at that face! He's doing the little, uh twitch emote face. I forget what it's called, but yeah, that, that meme thing. Uh, I should note, let me, can I toggle that off? I can't. Where, actually, where's, where, what am I looking for here? Uh, a lot of time has passed already. Uh, I don't see, it's probably going to be down at the bottom of this thing once I back out of this all the way, but... Your taxes. You get your taxes every month. So, every month in game is about, I don't know, a minute or two, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. I don't know. But, yeah, you'll, you'll get your taxes every month in game. And that's also when your popularity will hit as well. So, like, we made a bunch of money the previous month from the tax that we imposed, but we also lost a large chunk of popularity because that's when the stats inside this thing hit. It changes at the end of every month, assuming your stats in the popularity thing have changed. And I don't know why I'm going through this so in depth like this. I, I was just really excited and assumed that I guess nobody watching this video would have ever played Stronghold, but at the same time, I feel like if you're watching this video you probably have played stronghold at least once or twice or maybe a lot in your childhood like i did because i don't imagine that this game is gonna make much of a ruckus outside in the mainstream i feel like this is a very uh very much a cult classic and uh that's that's kind of a shame more people should know and love this game anyway you're crowding like i just built this hovel so that gave me an increase in housing down here, 18, 18. This is your population cap. This is the amount of people you got. If, like, say I were to... How do I put this? If I were to turn these woodcutter huts off, if I were to disable them, that would send all these woodcutters back to the keep as peasants. And there wouldn't be enough housing, quote-unquote, for the peasants, so I would get a negative impact on the crowding here. I don't think there's a way to go positive in that. I've never done it, I not that I recall. I think it always sits at neutral or negative. Fear factor doesn't really apply to anything right now, but later on the game later on in the game, let me pause. You in great esteem, if we go to town buildings, pause again. We'd have two little tabs here for Fear Factor. One tab up here would be for, like, good things you can build, which is, like, gardens, fountains, statues, things like that. And then below that would be your bad things, which are, like, gallows, gibbets, or is it called a gibbet? I don't remember. Uh, stocks, like, wood, wood, woodcutters, pardon me. Uh, <laughs> not woodcutters, not quite. Your chopping blocks is what I want to say. 
I just had the image of an axe in my head and saw these things out here. And I was like, yeah, woodcutter's blocks. That That's right. I mean, they, they might do the executioning part-time. You never know. It's, it's a tough life out there. But yeah, that's that's going to be your fear factor. And we can actually click on the fear factor tab right here. This is your good things. This is your bad things. I can't build any of these things, so I've got it at neutral. No pop... <laughs> population? No positive effect on my popularity. No negative effect on my popularity because I've not built anything, as you can see. Next level is 20. Efficiency at 20%. Comment. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. Um, let's see. Population. This is where we're at. This is when we raised taxes. This is when the taxes kicked in. This is when we took the taxes back to... Oh, wait. Is it? Okay. I... No, I'm looking at this wrong. This is when we were building all those woodcutter houses. This is when we built the hovel. This is when the taxes impacted the popularity and people started leaving the castle. I think. I don't know. It's been a while. Uh, I already over went over food. Army, you can see the amount of units we have. We don't get a fear factor bonus because we haven't built anything. If you build a lot of good things, you get more damage from your units. If you build a lot of bad things, your workers work a lot harder. But the troops have a negative impact on their damage output. Also, I should note that bad things will make your... No, no, no. I already said that. That's why I want to bring this other part up. Good things will make your workers less efficient. So it makes your army hit harder, but your workers a lot lazier. And then vice versa for bad things. Uh, stores, that's just a stockpile. We can't do anything with that at the moment because I don't have a trading outpost or anything. Uh, pardon me, a marketplace. And even if I did, I wouldn't have anything to sell, unfortunately. Uh, weapons, you can see what all you'll have in your... I already talked about that. Religion, real quick. Uh, this is in Alpha, so this isn't quite finished. But all you need to know about religion is that if you build a church, you get a positive impact on your popularity. If you don't build a church, you don't get any impact on your popularity. And uh, I don't think that can ever go down. It's kind of the inverse of crowding. Uh, let's go back to popularity. Crowding only goes down. Religion only goes up. Also, ale coverage, kind of not great in the original Stronghold. In Stronghold Crusaders godsend it's your actual religion but in stronghold one you can build a inn which will convert ale into basically popularity to a maximum amount of plus four popularity so for that you could then raise your taxes the people hold you in great uh, esteem. I'm sorry, I'll stop you can then raise your taxes to average, and it would balance out at the end of the month as uh, no impact. Go ahead and pause that again. So that, that's kind of the balancing game with your popularity. You got to make sure your peasants are happy and not leaving the castle, but you also want to make a lot of money. So sometimes you're going to want to give them extra food, or give them religion, or give them beer, in order to raise uh, popularity and morale in your kingdom. So you can then charge ludicrous amounts of taxes. Taxes, pardon me, taxes. And it won't affect you negatively. At least that's what I like to do when I was younger. Nowadays, I spend a lot more time focusing on maximizing my production and just selling all the excess. But, you know, the the passive popularity ways, I, I like it a little bit more. It's, it's more micromanagey, and I, I quite enjoy that aspect of it. I am poor and noteworthy, by the way. Poor and noteworthy. Uh, that covers everything in this little ribbon down here, I think, the reports. Yes, that should cover all the reports. If you open this thing up, that gives us a little timetable of how long this mission is going to last, what our current place is, this is a shorter mission, it's a bit on the shorter side, and that's fine and dandy. And then we got Eliminate All Enemy Units, 
which we don't have to worry about that. It, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what happens at the end once we complete this. And then this is a new feature that looks really nice. I really like it. New UI feature for the Definitive Edition. It shows us all the resources we got in the stockpile, in the granary, in the armory at, at once. So you never have to click on the stockpile to figure out, oh, what do I have to stockpile? Okay, now I'm going to click on the armory. It, it's just all there, right there for you. Speaking of which, let me build the armory real quick. I'm going to build it right down here. If we click on that, that shows us what we got in there, which is a whole lot of nothing. So in order to get some stuff in there, let's build a build a few Fletcher huts or Fletcher, Fletcher workshops. I'm probably going to refer to a lot of things as huts just because it's such a fun word. Look at that wood! Woo! I was trying to see if I could scroll in or zoom in a bit further. I cannot, which is fine. Now, I've talked a lot, I've explained a lot, and at the same time, I probably haven't done a very good job of explaining anything, but don't worry about it. This is just for my childhood. Hashtag for the childhood. Uh, there must be a tree there or something. Yeah. Oh, go ahead and put that there. It'll be, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, that's blocked off, so it should be fine. What I'm doing right now is wasting wood, and I'm building my castle, kind of. By the way, I'm pressing the space bar to flatten the terrain so I can see better. Doot doot. Yeah, that'll work. So, important things to note about Stronghold, the location of your keep is everything. If you have the option to place your keep at the beginning of the map, you always want to take a very close look at what your surroundings are, what the resources are, and things like that. I'll get into more detail on that when I play the next mission. Because for now, we've got a very basic layout. So there's not a lot to discuss, but I will say elevation is extremely important. Obi-Wan once said he had the high ground and not to try it, and Anakin should have listened to him because he was darn right. And that holds true in Stronghold as well. You almost always, 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 and when I say almost, I mean always, you always want to take the high ground. If you got a little hill like this, take it. If you, if you have to choose between all this lush greenery out here, or maybe a crappy, barren wasteland of a mountain like this, which it isn't crappy, but imagine it were, then you will always take this anyway, because the high ground is just so good. And plus we've got very uh, natural defenses, so we've got a nice cliffside right here. Let me unpause. Enemies can't climb up these cliffs, they have to take the slopey, slopey slopes here. So we've got basically two fronts that we have to concern ourselves with. And we're gonna put a fence around it real quick here. My mouse is broken, by the way, so I might double click. I might not click anything at all. It's very finicky. Don't worry about it. That's a problem for me. So you, that, I'm only saying that because you might see me like click one, two, building a wall awkwardly like that. Very low, sire. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Speaking of which, let's build some farms real quick. Really important. I love dairy farms. I don't think they're the like top tier food resource or anything, but they're really fun. I love them. I love cows. We're almost out of food. You, you better raise those calves quickly. Uh, yeah. So this is now fenced off. If the enemy wanted to enter the castle, they'd have to come through this way, which I haven't fenced at all. But if I did, they would have to come up the hill, start breaking down the walls, and ideally I'd have some little tower type things with arches on top. Let's actually build a large wooden gatehouse right here. Yeah, let's do there. Speaking of which, when I place down the keep, putting the keep on the elevated Cliff side right here it gives me a nice kind of default tower to start with. Do I have it? Yes, I do. So we're gonna build this wooden barracks. Can't place that there, we, we can't place that there, my lord. Uh, we're gonna not buy any archers because we're missing out on gold. We're gonna send them up here. Ta-da! 
Now they're at the top of the stronghold. It's basically a defensive tower that you get for free. And it's great. Uh, how much wood do I have? 22. I could have looked over there. I'm an idiot. Uh, I have, <laughs> I have no popularity because uh, my food is not good because I forgot to build the farms. Which is honestly the first thing you should do. Once you put your granary down, always... Wait. Always make sure that you put down your food products as well. Just always get into the habit of doing that. First things first. You put down your stronghold, you put down your granary, then you put down whatever food resource you've got. In this case, it's cheese. I love cheese. I'm a big fan of cheese. I will die for cheese. Anyway, we got a nice steady income of wood going right now. So we're going to waste it. Let's put that there. Alright. Again, like I said, broken mouse might double click, might not click. Uh, there we go. I don't know if that... I think that's still cliff side. I don't think they can get into that. If they can, whoopsie doodles. We'll deal with it when, uh, when we have to. Alright. Um... As far as I'm aware, this is all cliff side and the enemy won't be able to traverse it. So that just leaves this little pocket right here. That is now filled in. Is that uh, is there we go hang on a second okay that was weird i kept turning off the little toolbar down the bottom look at the face she's so disappointed in me the people still the got no food oh oh no that's not that's not great uh wait we do have food now did i whoops so that's my bad, fam. That's my bad. Uh, I was mistaken because <laughs> I'm so used to playing the first couple of missions of Stronghold. I don't know why, because I've invested so much time in this demo as well. But I'm so used to the first couple of missions of Stronghold 1, where your only food resource... Oh, that's not good. Your only food resource is going to be meat. So I turned off the cheese instinctively, thinking, oh, I'm not going to have meat. I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to have cheese. I'm going to have all the meat. But no, it was the inverse. Um, by the way, I, I clicked on that exclamation point a bit too slowly. Here's the enemy troops. Uh, this is a bit of a cause for concern, but I'm not too worried. I just need the uh, people to start eating cheese. And what we could do is I don't even have any money to pay them so I'm going to give them a generous bribe that increases the popularity to plus 7 per month and while I might go broke just a little bit uh, I hope those two archers can fend them off <laughs> that's not good that's not good at all no I worked hard on that uh Unfortunately, that does provide a bit of cover for the spearmen there. Uh, still in the negatives, but slowly crawling out of the trenches. A month has passed, I can guarantee that, because we're now at four gold instead of eight. At the very least, these uh, woodcutters' huts will keep the enemy occupied for a little while. I should make it through this even with only two archers. It, it, the first wave is fine. I do need to get my population back up to snuff before all. Oh, before uh, the next wave. Can they get him from there? I don't think they can. Oh, wait, maybe they can. They can! There, there they go, alright. Let's go ahead and repair that. It only costs one wood. Good deal. Uh, slowly but surely, uh, making our way out of the trenches. Let's go ahead and do extra rations. We've run out of gold, so now we got to bribe the peasants another way. But this is a good showcase of how to, uh, maintain, or more importantly, if you saw the start of this video, how to lose your popularity, incidentally. But yeah, this is how to get your popularity back. You gotta, you gotta be really nice, you gotta generously bribe your peasants. Oops, let's not do that. That'd be really bad. I don't need my popularity to go any lower. Uh, you gotta bribe your bribe your peasants. You gotta give them extra food. 
that's the only means of popularity we have at the moment available to us. But yeah, that, that'll give you the gist of how does popularity equate to population and stuff like that. That's how. If you make your people too mad, this thing turns red, and then every time it circles around, the person leaves. Now it's stagnated on red, which means we're just not really recovering. Once we get to about 50 or 60, I would say, that's not good. That's really not good. Uh, once we get to about 50 or 60, this will turn green, as will our little icon down here. And then slowly but surely, this cow will die, but also we'll get our popularity back. And then I can start taxing people again. So now this is this really isn't good. Oh, hang on. I'm going to give him full rations once more. I'd like to uh, keep my extra plus four popularity, but I don't want them to eat all the cheese when my cows have passed away, sadly. And then I would wind up with another negative eight popularity per month because then I'd be right back down to the trenches. Speaking of which, we're at 49 popularity right now. We'll see how that holds. Um, I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. I thought that was a peasant. Look, look, this is turning back. We're turning back the hands of time. We're at 50. We're at 50. Now it's turning green. It's slowly going in the positives. This is good for our growth. Look at this. Look at this. Boom! That's a popula population right there. People are coming to the castle. Oh my gosh. Sentiment is war. Look at that. We're, we're fighting back. Let's take a look at the popula population. So here we were doing alright. Here's about the point where I realized, oh wait, I turned off the cheese. And then I, I turned on the cheese. And it, was, it wasn't good enough. And by turn on the cheese, I mean uh, built some cows to get the cheese in there. But by then it was too late. Too late to apologize. Things in this game have been quicker than you anticipate, but still fairly manageable. I'm not ready to tax my citizens just yet, but I, I really should. We gotta do this because we need to get just a few more archers. Just a few. And uh, while we've got the spare wood here, let's actually go ahead and build some more cheese factories uh, let's put it there can't place that there my lord do all all the cow farms it'll be fine uh still going strong all right I like it uh, we got 13 gold quick uh wait I just used all my wood so I can't build a wood barracks just yet but we got wood and mound this is fine I literally spent no, not all my wood. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, build another uh, woodcutter hut. Attacking. Rats troops are attacking. We'll click that. It'll bring us to this little sign here, the outpost. Signpost. And we can see the troops that they've got. Not a lot. It should be manageable. I mean, it'd be easier manageable with uh, more than two archers, but, you know, you know, s s things happen sometimes. We're going to build it right out here again. We're going to recruit one person. We're going to send him right up to the... What the... Uh, no, no, no. You, you, can, you, can you go up on this... This is an alpha. Can you go up here? Hang on. Okay, I guess he doesn't want to go on the keep, so i will send him up onto the gatehouse. It's fine. That's a weird glitch that I've not... Okay. That's a weird glitch I've not experienced this far. And, uh, I... Not experiencing it... Whoops. Not experiencing it anymore, so it should be fine. It should be fine. Quick! Fly him before... Yep. Before it blows. Alright. So as you can see now, my uh, my castle economy is back up to snuff. We're doing good things here. It's, it's all right. Uh, we had quite the dip there, but we we got it 
back up the snuff, we now have it balanced out to where where we will maintain a 53% positive popularity percentage there. Look at that, look at that. My mom would be so proud of me right now. Look at all that cheese! I love cheese. In fact, we can actually build another house. Let's go and do that. And uh, let's bring down the taxes just a bit. We're going to leave the rations at extra, though. It'll be fine. Hopefully, I've got enough cheese farms that the uh, population won't outweigh the, outweigh the cheese there. I should also build another barracks again for a fourth time. Cool. Okay, I'll, I'll do it one at a time. I think that's an issue with my uh, mouse rather than an issue with the game. Because like I said, my mouse, it's, it's the, the, the left click button. It's uh, just, for the past year or so, it's been not good and I just haven't bought a replacement because I'm lazy like that. And I haven't been to Walmart in a year. Or anywhere with an electronics department. Because I don't like to leave the house unless it's to go to work. And if the work that I work at doesn't have an electronics center, I'm not going to enter an electronics center. That's just how it is. I am going to be ordering a new mouse off of Amazon, though. And that should get here shortly. <laughs> I mean, definitely before the, the definitive edition of Stronghold releases, because I want to be prepared. Where is the third? Where... Oh, was that him? Maybe it was. Yeah, that's him. I was like, why is this one not working? He was working. He was just over here delivering, delivering the bows. Instructions up on that. On I don't know. I don't think in this mi mission, pardon me, I don't believe that in this mission the enemy units will ever actually spawn any other archer units to fight you. I think it's all spearmen. So we really have this in the bag now. We've boosted our economy. We've got a Nice little... What is the wording looking for? Troops are attacking. It's not agriculture. Agriculture refers to things you grow, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe, uh, maybe this is agriculture. I don't know. I feel like there's another word for it, though. But we've got all these pastures set up. We've got a lot of food income. We've got a lot of gold income. We've got a lot of wood income. Just, this castle is very stabilized. And we're probably never going to face a serious threat from the enemy units. So this is basically a self-sustaining castle system at this point. So long as I don't do anything stupid like turn off food consum consumption and then also forget to build a bunch of dairy farms. Let's go and buy two more of these goobers. You can go sit on that gate as well and go up there. He tried to take the ore and it shot on him. Gatehouses, I should also note, you can open them and close them at will, but also if you're not managing them. Goodbye, barracks. We barely knew ye. If you're not managing them during a enemy invasion and the enemy gets too close, the gates will close on their own. And these guys will boogie once all the enemy units have been defeated. And it's great. Look at them. Look at them. They're so happy. I love it. Uh, that's a lot of cheese. How much cheese? Why, 118 cheese. That's how much cheese. Regrettably, I didn't build a... What? I didn't build proper enough to where I can build two granaries. I might be able to shove another one in front of it. Yeah, that, that can work. But I think that might block off the, uh... The access point for the cheese farm there. No, it actually should be fine. Let's build another granary just for the heck of it. I want to see how much cheese I can get. How many more peasants do I have here? I see at least six. Let's build six more dairy farms. Uh, 
go. There we go. Can I fit another one out here? No, there's a G there. Can I fit another one? I can. Yes. I want to see how much cheese I can produce. In fact, let's open up this bad boy. How much wood do I have? I've, I can build seven more farms, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. They shall call me the Cheese Lord. Not enough work is available to oh. This building. Okay, that, that was the final farm we could build. So we actually don't need that. I could build another hovel, but I only wanted to make enough cheese farms that it would take up all my population. So I can see how much cheese I can actually get. I'm going to set a world record. In fact, hang on a second. Da, 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 da. There we have it. There we have it. Lord Cheese. I don't know if that actually saves. I've never tested it out before. Not in the demo. Wait, was it? Uh-oh. Maybe that was the final farm we could build. These actually don't matter. So that was just a waste of wood. But we do get a small refund on... Oh, that tree just sprouted up immediately. And so did that one. Wild. Uh, we do get a small, moderate refund on the resource cost whenever we demolish a building, which is... That tree just spawned out of nowhere. Maybe it was a little sapling, because... Oh, never mind. Oh. Okay, these, uh, these trees are popping up pretty quickly, and with no good reason. Look at them all. What the heck? This is an alpha. This is an alpha. So normally, uh, the trees sprout little saplings like this little crappy thing right here. Look at it in its miserable existence. He hates himself, and it's understandable. I'd hate me too if I looked like that. But, uh, and then after a few months, maybe a year, in-game, I should note, uh, after a few months, they'll sprout into uh, something a bit bigger like this, and then they'll pop up into a big old bushy thing like this. And then sometimes the game will decide, no, I just want a full-blown tree right now. That's exactly what it's going to give you, and you're just going to have to deal with it, bub. Look at all those spearmen. Look at them all. They're adorable. All right. Is this the final wave? Uh, I think this is the second final wave. How much cheese do we have? 154! Alright, these farmers just got inside. I'm actually gonna close the gatehouse so they can't go back out, just in case the spearmen actually do. Uh, uh oh. My. Uh. It would appear that they just evaporated when they walked in the doorway, so, uh. Well, I guess I got three new archers. Up in the tower you go! Uh, oh, I was clicking on that peasant because he's blue as well. I was like, why can I not select this archer? Because he's not an archer. Not yet. Again, this is my mouse. This is not the game. There we go. Do your boogie! Yeah! And the final three. Archers, ready Up in the tower with way. you. Okay, I actually don't need this anymore. Let's open up the gatehouse. Let's build some more dairy farms. How many? I don't know, but they're getting built. That many. Now we're at... 205 cheese. We can actually tell these uh, woodcutters to stop. So that's how you stop production, by the way. You click on the shop, you press the Z's. It's self explanatory. Even a child could do it. And I know that from first hand experience. Uh, let's. Yep, yeah, no, not much bigger than the last uh, wave. I'm not sure it's any bigger at all. 
I was gonna make uh, three more dairy farms, but you know, it's like these guys are gonna die before I can even get the cows to grow, so that's kind of a moot point. I could probably tell everyone to start going on vacation. But I won't. Here they come! Here they come! They're coming to waves, except for that guy. He's just chilling. What a bro. Okay, he changed his mind. He doesn't know where he's going, though. He's lost. And there go the dairy farms. That, that peasant just stood there and... Okay, now he's dead. But he stood there and took a couple spear pokes. And voila! Eliminated all enemy units. You actually don't have to eliminate all enemy units on a invasion type map like this. That only really matters if you're doing a uh, siege. We did it. Congratulations, I did it. I'm so proud of myself. This is an alpha. Wishlist now! It's already wishlisted, trust me. At least on my Steam. And it should be wishlisted on your Steam as well. Go do it now. November 7th. Mark it on your calendar. It's marked on mine. In bold red letters. Alright. That wraps up the Hidden Lookout. I'm sorry I'm not the best at explaining things. But I was having fun. And you know, that, that's what matters. My fun and not your understanding. Not your comprehension. So maybe tune in next time. Maybe not. I don't know if you were... Or I don't know why you were tuning in the first time. But if you were, thanks for being here. I hope it was entertaining. I'll maybe catch you later.